Hello and welcome back to another lesson from Simple Essel and today we are taking a look at have in the present simple tense. We've taken a look at the verb to be, now we're going to look at the verb to have and how this would work in the present simple tense. So let's start the lesson. Now, to have in the present simple shows possession or ownership of things. It is used to express routines, habits, general truths, as with all other present simple tense. So, for example, I have a book. It shows possession. Have is an irregular verb. The third person singular form is has, not haves. So, for example, I have a garden. She has a car. Has is used for he, she and it. And that's what I'm saying. I have a book. It shows possession. She has breakfast at 7am. Shows routine. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is a truth. It is always the case. It's easy and important to learn. And we're going to practice and show the structure so you can use this in your day-to-day -day life. So how do we form this? How do we use have in the present simple? I have, let's think of something to type on. I have a laptop. I have a laptop. Now, if it were he, she, it, how does the pronoun change this? He, she, it has. He has a laptop. She has a laptop. It has a laptop. Simple. Easy. You, we, they. This once again. Have. They have. So we have our pronouns and we get the laser pointer out. Pronoun I have a laptop. He, she, it has. So it changes the pronoun he, she, it changes the verb have to has. Now let's have a little bit of a play around with this and practice with some examples. Let's make some statements. So we're going to have a little practice and then we're going to have a go making our own statements. But first, I would like us to match the picture to the phrase. We have dog there, apples, a car. I have two apples. He has a car. They have a dog. So they have a dog. He has a car. I have two apples. I have two apples. Very simple and we can see how the verb have changes depending on the pronoun. Now let's try and make some statements with this. Uh, we can see here, tiger, Arr, scary. What does it have? What does a tiger have? We can see it's fluffy, it has fur. It's got stripes, stripes. Tiger has stripes. Teeth, it has teeth. And what are these? Ears. A tiger has ears. So, it has fur. It has stripes. It has teeth. It has ears. Let's try another one. 
What does she have? Well, she has sunglasses. Very cool. She has a dog. She has long hair. I have short hair. She has sunglasses. She has a dog. She has long hair. So we can see this is how we can use have to describe a person and we can form statements. Now, what do they have? They have coats. Keep yourself warm, a coat. They have buckets. And what are they? They are all friends. They have friends. They have. So it was it has, she has, they, much like I, we, or you, have coats, buckets, and friends. And you can practice this on the worksheet and form your own statements. Now let's take a look at some questions. I want to know if you should use has or have to fill in the blank. Lisa, a brother and two sisters. Is it have or has? We, a family car. Has or have? Ben and Ellen, a flat in the city. Once again, has or have? Lock in your answers. Five, four, three, two, one. Here come the answers. Lisa has a brother and two sisters. We have a family car. Ben and Ellen have a flat in the city because it's a group. They, they have a flat in the city. So we can see have, have, talking about she has. Once again, I want to play this game a little bit more. Use has or have. Longer sentences, let's get ready. I, a dog called Rex. It, four legs. Hmm. Have or has. You, a football. You, showing possession. Football. He, a brand new laptop. Hmm. Write down your answers. Have you got your worksheet? Five, four, three, two, one. Here come the answers. I have a dog called Rex. It has four legs. So, I have. You can see that there. The verb to have. Becomes it, he, she has four legs. You have a football. The final one, he has a brand new laptop. that off let's go on some yes and no questions so I'm going to give you some options you have to say yes or no let's try the first one as a practice so yes he has a dog how would we form the question I want you to make the question yes he has a dog could we make the question using have and has? We could say 
does he have a dog? Does he have a dog? Okay, so that's how we form the question. Does he have a dog? Yes, he has a dog. And we can see how this changes. Let's try this on the next slide. Okay. No, they don't have a cat. How could we ask the question? They don't have a cat. Do... Do they have a cat? No, they don't have a cat. Next question. Wow. So, three brothers. Yes, she has three brothers. How can we ask the question? Three brothers. Does... Does she have three brothers? And this is how we can form the question. So if someone can now ask you, do you have three brothers? Yes, I have. I have three brothers. Does he have three brothers? Yes, he has three brothers. And now we know how to form the verb to have in the present simple tense. If you'd like more practice with this, there are lots of examples in our worksheet. And this is gonna wrap up our little introduction, three videos on the present simple tense. So subscribe to the channel for more lessons as they come out. And until next time, I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a nice day.